Hello, this is a Web2Pi demo. Download Web2Pi from the website for Windows, for Mac, or for Linux. Unzip it and start it. It will start a short presentation. And then the web server. Let's choose a password to access our applications. It will fire the browser for us. Here we go. Let's go to the administrative interface. We type the password that we just chose. And we start creating a new application that we call shoot out. Here we have it. Let's design it. So URLs are mapped into controller functions. In this case, we have an index one, which we can edit. And let's change it so that it just returns hello world. We save it. Design. We visit the URL. And when we visit shootout default index, we see hello world. Let's now do something more sophisticated. Let's create a model, which we call DB, and edit it. In this model, we define a table called shouts, which contains an SQL field called message. Save it. Design. What we see is that we have an automatically created database administrative interface except that we have a typo, which is intentional because I'll show you later what the consequences are. Okay, we can already insert new shouts and we can already see existing shouts. And uh, we can also see the SQL that has been created for us. We did not have to write any SQL. Now let's change it and make it more sophisticated. Let's add another field which is post. Time stamp. And uh, this is a field of type date time, which is a default, which is now. And we're going to create another SQL field, which is the post author. Here we go. So now it needs to be defined. For today. Here we go. So we can test it first. Here we go. New record inserted and we can see all the records and uh, we can also check the SQL and the table was altered for us now let's change the controller and let's make it more sophisticated let's create a form from our shouts table and let's return this form So now create, we created an entry form within our own application, not using the automatically created administrative interface. Let's also add some form processing. So if the form accepts the request bars, so request bars stores the variables passed with form submission, within this session, this prevents uh, double form submission and some reply as text. We session with flash new post accepted and we redirect the user to the same URL. We also want to list all existing shouts at 
to me. Let's do this. Here we go, and we return them too. Here we go. Go on index, and what we see is that we have one shout posted, and we can post another one. Here we go, form accepted. Uh, let's add a few things. We don't want to print in the form the timestamp. We only want to have some fields. So we want to have the message field and we want to have the post author. Here we go. This is fine. Now we want to add some customization. So what we need is a view. So for our default index controller function, we need a view. Here we have it. So let's remove everything that is in there. And uh, for shout in shouts, close the loop. And uh, what we print is shout post author says shout message and then we place our form here okay Mason says hello and Mason says another test well we want to Want to add some new line here? We can put any HTML we want in there, and within these tags, any Python with no restriction. Finally, we want to add some form validations here. So we want to require our message is not empty. And uh, in the view, we want to check if shout post other. So if there is a post other, else anonymous says here we go so we try it again index so let me try to post a message empty cannot be empty test me okay and anonymous says test me test me again max Max says test me. There are a few other things you can do here. For example, you can add tests to controller functions. Let's write a simple test that is going to fail. Here we go. So how do I run the test? So I just click here, and what I see is that this test failed. And you can write other tests that are supposed to pass. Also, if there is any bug in your application, it's logged. We had the bug before, and we got issued a ticket. So at any time, we can go and we can see it all our tickets. This is a bug that we had in our application. So we can look at it, and this is because we didn't close quotes when we define the field. And uh, this is a bug report, and it's associated to a ticket, which is unique.